All right, so the question is, what happens if there's um, fractions? So generally, the answer is not much, so it's not that huge of a deal. But I think the first idea is that I need to get some look at um, the line segment first. So I'm just going to draw what I think the line segment probably looks like. Uh, I'm going to go under the assumption that the letters are arranged uh, in an alphabetical setting, so alphanumeric, I guess. So I'm going to say, here's my segment. And there's no concept that, uh, there's nothing that says it's a midpoint, so I'm going to assume that it's not. So I'm just going to put that there. The uh, H, J, K is there. I know H, K from here to here is 12X minus 4. I know H, J is 2X plus 1 third. And I know on the bottom, J, K is equal to 5X plus two-thirds. Now, I need to make some statement that uh, HK, I'm going to try to change colors. I'm trying to find colors that actually go with this really dark background. Um, so I'm going to say that HK is equal to the smaller part, HJ, and then uh, JK. So I'm going to write this out. Uh, I know that HK or KH is 12X minus 4. HJ is 2X plus 1 third, and uh, JK is 5K plus 2 thirds. So draw your line there. Um, we're just combining like terms on the right, and it's convenient here. They're just trying to trick you by adding the, uh, the fractions in. It's really not, it doesn't end up being anything that's complicated because you have 1 third and 2 thirds. They have a common denominator. They're on the same side of the line. 1 plus 2 is 3, so it's just 3 thirds, or you could just say plus 1. And the plus 1 comes from the fact that 3 thirds, 2 thirds plus 1 third equals 3 thirds or 1. So from here, it's just essentially um, bringing everything onto the same side. So I'm going to subtract 7x there. five x minus four I've got my one I'm gonna add four to both sides and you end up with five x equals five you're gonna divide both sides by five of course so x is going to be one if you need to know what one of the values is all you do is plug it back in say you need to know jk you do five times one plus two thirds so your final answer would be five and two thirds it's really it just looked trickier than it was if you had um a fraction in front of the the variable so it was in front of um x you could handle it a couple different ways if say i had two thirds x at some point you could divide both sides by two thirds which would mean that you would flip two-thirds into three over two and then multiply, or you could actually treat it as two x divided by three, and it breaks it up into two steps. So you just, to get rid of divide, you'd multiply, and to get rid of the multiply, you divide. So it depends on what they're asking you to do. If they want you to combine terms with unlike denominators, you need to get a common denominator. All that stuff from, you know, elementary school. But other than that, not a huge deal. It just looks uh, sort of annoyingly tricky, which I always, I never really liked those types of problems that seem harder than they are, but they exist, so might as well get used to them, I suppose. Hope it was helpful.